Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, but you may know me as Kate the Chemist. I'm a chemistry professor, science entertainer, and best-selling author. But more importantly, I'm on a mission to make science fun and accessible, and today I'm going to be answering your questions about my STEM first. When we were younger, my sister and I used to play scientists in the bathroom. We had this big, green, gigantic bowl, and we would put anything into it, like shampoo or conditioner or baking soda. And I have these vivid memories of trying to make the biggest bubbles possible. And honestly, it's the first memory I have of performing a chemical reaction. And I had so much fun with it that I ended up getting a degree in chemistry. In high school, I used to think that being a chemist meant that I would spend all day, every day in lab, and now I know that could not be further from the truth. Chemists do anything from designing new menus for Michelin star restaurants, or creating new fabrics for sports companies, or even using a lot of baking soda to design huge explosions for national TV. In undergrad, all of my introductory courses had 300 to 400 students in each lecture. I did not know anyone, and I remember feeling extremely intimidated. I was scared to talk to my professors, scared to talk to my peers, and I have never felt more alone. But I will never forget the day where I gained enough courage and rose up, kind of like a baking soda volcano, marched up to the cool kids and asked them for help. They were so kind, thankfully, and we ended up becoming lifelong friends. My first big success happened during my first week I was in a research lab. Within 48 hours, I had shattered a round bottom flask and then shot mercury up into my Schlenk line. And a Schlenk line is like a fancy piece of glassware that we use to do dangerous reactions safely. And instead of being kicked out of the lab, my graduate student just continued to demonstrate proper techniques. And when I finally did my first explosive reaction properly, it felt like I had conquered Mount Everest. My first real STEM job was at a box plant and I worked in the quality control lab. So I was in charge of testing the strength of the boxes, which surprisingly had a lot of science involved. So during the interview, they were impressed with the fact that I did well in my calculus courses and amused that I found differential equations to be easy and interesting. And just like with every STEM interview, the company wanted to know that I could analyze data using my critical thinking skills and come up with proper conclusions. Do your personal best. This was advice my dad gave me all the time growing up, and I think it is the best advice I've ever been given. He never cared if I was successful or if I failed, just that I tried and did my personal best. What more could anyone ever ask of you? Well, those are all of my STEM first. Share yours in the comments below and across social media using the hashtags first STEM and more power to STEM. Click the link in the bio or the button below for more information.